Hi everyone, just going to do another quick video on how I've painted my Urukai Berserkers. So in the picture there you can see the finished article. I thought I'd start off um, to show you where I ended up with them. Uh, these were really good fun to paint. The only problem I suppose is that it's a lot of flesh. So there's a lot of different layers and different highlights that I did. And it can get quite repetitive. So... Um, for these ones, I actually managed to mess up the recording process and forgot to record the beginning part. But I've just got a photo here which will show you um, just the colours that I used for the original bases. So I based the flesh with Heavy Sienna, which is um, quite a ready brown from um, Vallejo. Then I based the metal and the leather. Um, and then after that, I gave them all a wash of the um, Army Painter Strong Tone. So once that was done, we can go into the actual video itself. So I went back over what I'd done already with another heavy sienna with a little bit of red mix into it just to try to give them that sort of red colour. So here you can see I'm just going over the um, highest parts of the flesh. Because there's a lot of muscle, it's very important to leave the definition between the pieces where the washes went just so that you can see... That's all like definition in between the muscles and the joints and everything like that because that's what these models mostly are. So gave them all once over with that coat and as you can see here left the most important bits darker in the recesses. You can see the comparison it's gone quite red so already getting close towards the sort of berserker kind of colour. Then I added um, game colour scarlet red. This is quite a dark red still, but it gives it a little bit more of a um, highlight. And I went over the same bits again, but just making sure that I left a bit of the last coat visible. So this was more of the edge highlight kind of stage. Just making sure I got all the bits of the legs and everything. So you can see there it's getting very red now. It went back with the chainmail again. Oh, hang on, one second. And then you just gave the um, metal bits a bit more of a highlight. Just again with um, it's gun metal, not chainmail. Sorry, just the edges and only with that, not with a higher silver. Simply because I don't want too much silver on these ones because they're quite gruesome and dark anyway. I have got a mixture of metal and plastics, so I've been doing a bit of those. So now I'm going back with the chocolate brown and just highlighting the leather again. Now when I do this I make sure that I leave some of the washed areas um, as they were. So you've got the original colour done with a wash and then edges with the original colour again. Then after that I'll add in a bit of a racky sand just to sort of brighten it up just, just a little bit. I think I went a little bit too far here so I made sure I watered it down and only went for the very extreme highlights. But as there's not a lot on these models, it's just a loincloth and the shoes, oh, and also the gloves as well, it didn't really make much difference. But I made sure that I picked out the fingers at least, so that there's some definition on that. Now the plastic ones are actually, I think, part of a demolition crew. So they're carrying a flaming torch. So I originally gave it a base coat of white, and I've just gone over it with a flat yellow from Vallejo. I then got orange fire game colour from Vallejo and whilst the yellow was still wet I wet blended it together just to try and make it just so it mixes together so you can see there yellow at the bottom but then it slowly goes through up to orange I'm still not confident with this sort of technique so I've just, I just wanted to give it a quick go then bloody red from Vallejo again just on the very tips of the flame To make it look a little bit more realistic. I probably should have wet blended all three together but this just makes it a little bit easier. It looks can look a little bit cartoony but it's fine. So then the last things I did I went back to um, Off-White from Vallejo 
and the first thing was to do the teeth. Now this actually took a couple of steps because I do them and then have to go over the brown again just to make it a little bit thinner. The last thing I did was paint on the hands. Now the hands are actually surprisingly easy to paint. I know it can be off-putting trying to put that sort of detail on it but I just kept the paint really thin and just used a really fine tipped brush. Now to finish them off I did add a little bit of blood. Um, I avoided doing that on any of my other stuff so far, but I think for the Berserkers, they kind of they fit in with it. So there's a couple of pictures at the end, just to show how they've turned out. They've been relatively easy to paint, and really enjoyable as well. So, um, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll um, be back soon with another video. Cheers, bye.